Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and uh, this is the setup video for the Orion Space Probe 2 76mm uh, Altaz reflector. So I'm going to show you what it looks like, uh, all the parts and pieces out of the box, and then we'll go through step by step until you get to this point when you've got a fully assembled uh, telescope ready to view the night sky. All right, well, let's get started. All right, so once you take the uh, telescope out of the box, uh, uh, take an inventory of all the pieces, make sure they're all there. Uh, this is what you should see. Uh, I've got the telescope, the optical tube up top, parts to the mount, the, the yoke fork mount, uh, the tripod spreader over here, and the various parts and pieces that assemble everything together. These are obviously your tripod legs. Um, the little multi-tool, this is a screwdriver and wrench kind of combined into one. And on, then on the right side, we've got the accessories, the two eyepieces, finder scope, and the uh, tripod accessory tray. All right, so let's get started and uh, put this telescope together. All right, the first step uh, is to take each of the legs and uh, attach the leg locking screws to the, uh, the uh, bolt hole coming out the side near the feet. So if you notice, the tripod legs slide on their own. Take one of these screws and thread it in here, and then repeat for the other three legs. And what that does is lock the leg down in any position that you want. The next step is to attach the, uh, each of the three legs to the yoke mount. And you're going to be using these uh, long hex head bolts and uh, wing nuts. So first off, take the wing nut off and the washer off and take one of your tripod legs and look at the top of each tripod leg. There's a, uh, a recessed hex shaped hole on one side and just a through hole on the other. So the bolt's going to go through the hex head shape. Basically what happens is once it's in place, it will recess itself down inside the hole. So make sure you don't uh, reverse it. Also, the little tripod accessory tray, these brackets are going to be facing inwards. So when you put it on the yoke, make sure this is facing the inside, not the outside. Otherwise, you're going to have to take it apart and, and change it over. So one screw through the hex head side and then through the other side. Place the washer over the bolt and then the wing nut over that. Repeat for the uh, other two legs. Now that you've got the three legs attached, uh, just verify again that the brackets for the accessory tray are on the inside. And also watch out, without the accessory tray bracket attached, these legs can just bend open as, as far as you want. So just, just uh, carefully place it on the ground. Don't walk away from it, don't let it fall over. Uh, and the next step is to attach this bracket so those legs don't splay out too far. So there is a little a screw and a bolt and nut on each of the ends of the accessory tray bracket. Basically, you want to orient the bracket so the little threaded hole is facing upwards because that's where the tray is going to thread on. And then just attach it to each of these uh, little flanges coming out the side. So it goes through the outside, through the bracket, out the other side, and then take the little nut and attach it back on. Oops. Now, this just has to be finger tight. You don't have to really clamp this down. If you want to put a little crescent wrench on there, fine, but don't squeeze it down too tight because you don't want to break it. It's, it's just there to um, allow the legs to, to stay in position, but they're still going to be loose so you can fold the legs up when you're done uh, for the night. So finger tight is all you need to do. Repeat for the other two legs. Now that you've got the accessory tray bracket or the or called the leg spreader uh, attached, uh, what it does is um, holds the legs in position and then when you're ready to fold up the tripod, um, you can collapse it like that bring it right back out to fully open. Um, as long as you attach it so the threaded hole uh, is facing upwards, you're ready to attach the accessory tray and it just threads into the hole until finger tight, just like that. The next step is going to be attaching the altitude uh, slow motion control rod to the optical tube of the telescope. Uh, it, it's two pieces. You've got the rod itself and then this little uh, flathead screw with a little shoulder on it. So simply slip the screw through the little eyelet in the top of the rod. Then take your optical tube and it's going to thread into the little uh, metal stud coming out the side wall. Just hand tight and then take a little flathead screwdriver or the little uh, metal screwdriver that we provide in the box for you and tighten it down. Again, just finger tight. It doesn't have to be really tight. Um, just snug so it's not going to fall off. And you'll notice this thing wiggles around. That's fine. That's the way you want it to be. Attaching the tube to the yoke is a two-step process. Uh, the first thing that's got to happen is the rod has to go into the shaft sticking out the side of the yoke mount, this little uh, uh, chrome-colored part. 
and then the hubs on the side of the tube slip into the yoke slots uh, themselves. But you got to do it in that order. Rod first, then yoke. The little shaft on the side of the yoke, uh, the hole in it can sometimes be rotated in the uh, box. Um, so you want to get it so you can drop the rod straight down into the hole. Just grab it, rotate it around until the hole's facing upwards. And then drop the rod straight into the hole. Uh, maybe, in, I don't know, what is that, about an inch or two. And then as it's in there, drop the hubs on the side of the tube into the yoke arms themselves. Then you take the two large thumb screws and thread them onto each side of the yoke, securing the tube in place. And then the last step is to secure the rod on the side shaft using this large thumb screw. Simply thread it on. And you don't want this to be tight because then you won't be able to move the tube up and down. This is what secures the telescope in position uh, in the up and down direction. So once you find your spot that you want to look at, you tighten this down and it'll lock it in place. The next step is to attach the viewfinder uh, to the telescope's optical tube. And it just uses this little bracket here and the little shoe and it slips straight in place. Um, there's a direction to the thing. So the, um, the front of the shoe slides in from the back and you'll hear it click into place. If you ever wanted to take it off, there's a little tab on the shoe itself. You just press it down and it, uh, it removes easily. Uh, no tools needed. So just slide it into place. Uh, then you're ready for the eyepiece. These little sets, the set screw here loosens up, the uh, protective cap comes out, and then you can drop one of your eyepieces in. Uh, the scope comes with two, a 25 millimeter and a 10. You always want to start with your 25 millimeter. That's the low power, and the 10 is the high power. So drop the 25 millimeter into the focuser, and then just tighten down that set screw on this side to clamp it in place. The space probe reflector also comes with this uh, moon map, the moon map 260, which is a great guide for identifying craters on the moon. You've got the nice graphic in the middle with all the uh, major craters identified, and then details about the craters, the names um, and sizes um, on each side. And one thing I like about this map is you get two moon maps. You've got the correct image view here, and then if you flip it around, you've got the, um, the mirror image view. With the reflector, the image is upside down, but it's not a mirror image like in a refractor. So you actually, with this telescope, you'd use the correct image um, map and then rotate it some angle, depending on uh, how you're orienting uh, your head with the telescope. And if you were to ever get a different telescope, uh, some refractor with a 90 degree star diagonal, you'd use the mirror image on the back. So overall, a very handy uh, guide to have with the telescope. All right, well, there you have it. That's the setup for the uh, Space Probe 2 76 millimeter uh, Altaz reflector. Um, it's pretty simple. You don't need a lot of tools. It doesn't take a lot of time. And now you're ready to start viewing the sky. So go outside and enjoy your new telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.